Alrighty, here we go. Well, hey there, everybody. It's the Nasty One here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Frandomized Franchise Rebuild here in Super Mega Baseball 4, year number 3. Last episode, for our Thumpers saw us take on our another rival, the Trackers, from the opposite division in our conference, where we ended up holding them off to win 7-4, to four, behind a solid pitching performance from former th uh, Tracker pitcher Sawyer Radical, and a good offensive showing from former Tracker second baseman Aresti Blacksmith, who I believe finished a trip double shy of the cycle, if I remember correctly. Uh, with that win, we have now kept pace to top the division, but we're still not in first place at the current moment. Uh, we are going into today's game. We are going to be playing this False Knights matchup here, as we will once again face our old playoff foe, as we have run into them many times in the postseason, both years so far. Both years we eliminated them in the semifinals. We're going to first send this game here against the Bottom Noses, and then we'll head into this game. This is a make-it-or-break-it start for Abet Coleman. If she does not do well, her roster spot is in jeopardy if there is someone available to replace her. Keep that in mind. Alrighty, so this first matchup here against the Bottom Noses, we will be simming Jania Downs versus Mike Asiago, the rookie. Uh, she comes in 1-0 with a 3.97 ERA and a 1.41 whip, and he comes in with a 1-1 one one ER record. Record. <laughs> record. Let's try to get the English right here. 2.13 ERA and an 0.87 whip. Lineup is set for that matchup. Let's sim it and see what happens. Get up to an early 2-0 lead. Asiago pitches well. We almost blow it, but we hold on to win 4-3 as we do move into sole possession of first place with that victory over the Bottlenoses, who are in last place in their division. Another reason why we didn't play that game. Team's cassette player is not working again. Who has to fix it? Asiago pitched well today, so instigate. You're up. <laughs> Mr. Disappointment and a half. Alrighty, uh, looking at that win, let's sim up to the next one here. we got a couple games to get through. We're looking at roster moves around the league real quick. Celeste Pruitt, second-year long reliever, gets plus eight accuracy to move her to a B+. Plus. Bob Shelton gets plus three fielding there at the hot corner, moving up to 71, but no roster moves were made. Okay, let's do it. Next game simming up here. Tramplers beat the two cans for us. Thank you. 5 to 2. Leatherwings taking on the Nocturnals here. Leatherwings need a win, and they do win 5 to 2 as they move above 500. Furry Flyers taking on the Champs here. Furry Flyers win easily 7 to 2 as they also move above 500. Bottlenoses taking on the False Knights, and the Bottlenoses pull off a victory 7 to 5 as the False Knights fall below 500 here. Nightbats taking on the Swampers. They blow the lead, and the Swampers end up winning 6 to 4. Nightbats the only team now in their division below 500. Riddles beat the Beasts 8-3. Good quality win there for the Riddles. Bards taking on the Blow Zeros here, and the Blow Zeros blow the lead and drop it in 11 innings 7-6 to six as the Bards win. Moving above 500, Gold Coach shut out, whoever that was, 2-0. I think it was the Dive Bombers, and then the Toucans bounce back to beat the Tracker 6-4. Bird Lizards blow out the Beasts 8-1 as the Beasts are on a cold streak right now. Dive Bombers blow out the Night Bats 6-1. Riddles hold off the champs to win 3-2. to two. And in the final game of the sim here, Gold Coats and Nocturnals. Nocturnals rally in the ninth to win 4-3. to three. Very competitive divisions on the uh, green side. For the Nacho side, it's us and the Bird Lizards right now in control. Both teams at 7-4. and four. Tracker sitting at 6-5, and five, but it looks like the bottom half of their division is pretty weak. The Bionics, Blow Zeros, and Bottom Noses all have losing records. False Knights also just below 500. They are our opponent. And for our division, three teams above 500, Dive Bombers and Toucans both below 500. So it looks like the uh, Green Conference is the stronger conference right now. Alrighty, today's matchup against the False Knights, who put all their money into starting pitching, it appears. Ridge Fitzpatrick on the mound with K Collector, no record, an 093 ERA and an 072 whip here for the 5 and 6 False Knights. And for us at 7-4, and four, it's going to be a bet Coleman, 1-0 with a 964 ERA and a 150 whip. Make or break time a bet. Step up, put up, or shut up. First things first, player development. What do we got? We're not giving you falls behind. That's dumb. We could improve your fielding. Extra fielding is always nice for Rodgers. Let's see what else is available first before we make a decision. Chance to improve the secondary position here for Kirk. That's also an option, but it'll be here for one more game, so no rush. Shane Cruz, chance to lose Mind Gamer. The extra fielding would be nice, but I'm not risking your good trait. Bob Shelton, extra contact, never hurts, but contact's really a good game for you already, Bob. I don't think you need this. Arnold Liu, chance to weaken your secondary position. Though the extra extra stats would be nice here, buddy. Don't think it's worth it, especially as my bench outfielder. I kind of need you to be able to play the entire outfield, so I don't know if it's worth the risk or not. 
Definitely want to get Rogers is here real quick. Nice cheap upgrade. Plus two fielding, one speed. Bonus two fielding. Not going to get it. That's all right. Plus 10 loyalty there to 90 for the uh, rookie shortstop. As her fielding moves up to 75. Our speed is up to 56 for her. Good. Am I going to risk this for Lou? Probably not. I might wait one more game on it because the only other one I'm interested in buying is this one for Kirk, which is really cheap. And we should be able to afford it anyway, but at the same time, I don't know. Is it worth it? Maybe. It's only a 10% chance to lose it. Mm, bear wrestling. Hopefully the bear doesn't train as hard as you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll still have enough. You know what? Let's risk it for the biscuit. Let's go for it. Two power to 46, two speed to 51. Bonus for power? No. Bonus for speed? No. Avoiding that, we avoid it. Yes, good job, Lou. Loyalty goes up by 21. He's up to 97 loyalty. Still a C+, plus, but a little bit better. All right, let's jump into today's matchup here. Here's the lineup. Leading off at third base is locked in Bob Shelton. Batting second, shortstop rookie Maya Rogers. Batting third, locked in in right field, Bingo Coffee. Batting fourth at catcher, Shane Cruz. Batting fifth at first base today, Kane Tambor with ace exterminator active. Chris Flores is in center, batting sixth. Rusty Blacksmith is batting 7th at 2nd base. Ramon Whitehead is 10th in left field, batting 8th. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Abat Coleman. Let's jump into it and have some fun. But first, the lineup for the False Knights. Leading off in center field, Musty Correa returns. First baseman, new addition, Womp Munster, the backup center fielder. He's getting the start over Trevor Hendricks. Batting 3rd locked. Uh, batting third in left field is the injured utility player, Red Hartman. Batting 4th, right fielder, Rohan Villalobos, who's still here with the False Knights. Batting 5th, 10th at 3rd base, once again is Madeline Butts. Batting 6th at shortstop, Edward Baloney. Uh, I believe he's a rookie. Batting 7th is Lawn Fire catcher, Warden to Orange. Batting 8th is 10th second baseman, new addition, Zander Ramos. And batting 9th is Fitzpatrick. Let's jump into it and have some fun. Fitzpatrick is a long reliever, so we have that working in our favor. Coleman is at least a full-fledged starter. As we're in the middle of this really long ro road uh, home homestand right now as we haven't left Bingada Bowl in a couple of games here. I think this is like the fourth or fifth game in a row we've been at home. I think we played the Dive Bombers at home. We played the Trampler, not Trampers, um, the Trackers at home. We've just sinned the Bottlenoses at home. I think this is like the fourth or fifth game in a row we've been at home. And then we're going to go on this really long road trip afterwards. So Let's do it. Correa, Munster, and Hartman coming up. Center fielder Musty Correa leading off with Bunter inconsistent, hitting 238 with a homer and six RBIs facing Abet Coleman, the righty. 30 year old is 1 0 with a 964 ERA and a 150 whip. She's by far the worst performing starter in our rotation this year and really the only outlier. 10 earned runs given up, 2 appearances on the year, 9 in the third innings pitched, 13 hits surrendered, 1 walk, 3 homers, 8 strikeouts, and a batting average against a 325. All right, let's get it on. Heater away on the first pitch from Coleman. Check the strike. We're underway. Curveball down and in. Check strike. Call to Correa. 0-2. Slider up and in. Off the plate inside. 1-2. and Wilson be down in the way. Foul off. Out of play. 1-2. and two. Change it down and in. Check low. 2-2. Two and two. Heater away. Chop the short. Rogers to her left cuts it off. Fires the first. One down. Nice play. Speedy Correa is retired. And here's the first baseman today, Womp Munster. Hitting 286 with a homer and an RBI. He's getting the start of a normal first baseman, Trevor Hendricks, for whatever reason. He has the choker trade, but it's not active here in this low pressure situation. First pitch curveball down and in from Coleman. Checked off the inside corner. Ball one. Heater up and in. Checked high. It's 2 0. Slider up and away. That's Sky down the left field line off the end of the bat. Whitehead over near the line. Puts it away. Two down. Base is empty for utility player Red Hartman. He's in left field today. Playing a little injured, but mostly healed up. Fastball hitter active, hitting only a buck 08 this year with one RBI. Horrible year so far for Hartman at the plate. Change up and in on the first one. That's a strike call. 0 1. Change it down in the way. Off the plate outside. One and one. Slider away. Blasted to right center field. Flores on the run. Gets there. That's a one, two, three inning. Solid start for Coleman. Bottom one. Shelton Rogers and Coffee coming up. 
There's Shelton. He's locked in. Contact first ready and first Slayer active. Hitting 409 with a homer and four RBIs. Facing Ridge Fitzpatrick, the third year long reliever who's been with the False Knights all three seasons. Fitzpatrick, no record, an 093 ERA and an 072 whip. One earned run given up in two starts this year. Nine and two thirds innings pitched. Four hits surrendered, three walks, nine strikeouts, one homer, and a batting average against a 121. I believe this is the, either the first or second season that Fitzpatrick has been in the starting rotation. He and uh, Tyke Quintana used to be the only two men that came out of the bullpen for this relief squad, along with Amari Fletcher, who was one of those three that was coming out of the bullpen every year in the postseason. I believe Fitzpatrick is his second year as a starting pitcher. Quintana's been in the bullpen all three years. So is Fletcher. First pitch to Shelton here. Flat up and in is cracked the right center on the first pitch, but it's going to hang up for Correa, one down. Maya Rogers, rookie shortstop up next, has her average up to 250 here on the air with two homers, six RBIs. Heater up and away, taken for a called strike, 0 1. Only three pitches for Fitzpatrick as that heater misses in the dirt. 1 1, he is a fastball slider, curveball mix. Relies a lot on all three pitches evenly for the most part. Slider taken low, 2 1. Curve about the knees, ripped up the third baseline. Fair ball by Rogers as he gets past the diving third baseman. Yeah, that is a one-out single for Rogers as the rookie's on with one down. Next up, right fielder Bingo Coffey. She he is locked in, hitting 419 with a homer and three RBIs. Good arm behind the plate today, so no running for us as that curveball hits the knees. A one. Heater down and in his line's just short on the jam shot, but right at Baloney, two down. And next up is catcher Shane Cruz, the Bash Blonde captain. Being 405 with four homers and 14 RBIs with Mind Gamer active. Heater up. That's a strike at the letters. Nice pitch. 0 1. Heater middle to play. Turned on by Cruz, and that is a mistake, and it is not coming back. Beat the drum. It's a home run as it lands above the last row of the stands there on the back walkway. Home run for Shane Cruz as the captain delivers again his fifth of the year. It is two nothing thumpers as he got a center cut fastball. He doesn't miss. First baseman Kane Tambor up next. Off speed hitter and ace exterminator active. Hitting 286 with two homers and five RBIs as Fitzpatrick's now tense. That was actually a low end fastball, but Cruz was ready and turned on it. Will Cruz get a pitch to hit here? Curveball hangs the letters, pulled foul out in front of it, 0-1. Slider down and in line to second, diving as Ramos to his right to make the stop on to first in time to end the inning. Nice play, Ramos. He gets back to neutral after the diving catch, but the Thumpers get the lead on the home run by Shane Cruz. Quickly a 2-0 spot here for Coleman to the second. Villalobos, Butts, and Baloney coming up. Mira Rohan Villalobos leading off the third year right fielder. All three years he's played with the False Knights. Hitting 325 on the year with six RBIs, no homers. Heater down and in on the first pitch. Chopped hard to second. Blacksmith dives to her right. Nice play on to first. One down. Nice play, Oresti. She's locked in. And that'll bring up third baseman Madeline Butts. Her second year here with the False Knights. Hitting 154 with two RBIs here on the season. No homers yet. Not hitting well. And that might explain why the False Knights have a losing record right now. <laughs> hey, Peyton, welcome in, buddy. Nice to see you. Hopefully your game went well for you. And hopefully your day's been well as well. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. Third ball away on the first one. That's chopped back to the mound, and Coleman's going to make the play. Two down, helping our own cause. Out of ring of rookie shortstop Edward Baloney, hitting 263. Two homers, three RBIs. Peter up and in on the first one. That's jammed to first on the liner, but right at Tambor, and that's a 1-2-3 inning. Coleman with an easy second, bottom two. Flores, Blacksmith, and Whitehead coming up. Second year center fielder Chris Flores leads it off for us here in the second, hitting 333 on the year with a homer and seven RBIs. This Patrick gets back to neutral. Peter down in the way, strike call, though one. Peter chased outside, bad swing, 0 2. K collector activates. Slider chased down in the way, pulled foul, 2 1. Ooh! Ooh, hitting the shoulder with a 90 mile an hour pitch. Jesus. Hopefully you're all right, man. Jeez, oh, that makes my shoulder hurt. Ow. <laughs> oh, 2 count. Heater down, blasted by Flores. The right center field hit pretty well on the run. That's going to get over both outfielders. And they both dive unnecessarily. It's going to be a triple for Flores. Thank you for the extra base. 
Leadoff triple for the soft center fielder. <laughs> Next up, locked in second baseman, Aresti Blacksmith, has already made one nice diving play in the field. Hitting 289 with a homer and five RBIs. Got to hand it to the AI. They always manage to pull out something out of the box. <laughs> Slider away on the first one from Fitzpatrick misses. Ball one. Rubs some dirt on and said, let's keep playing. Nice. That's the right attitude. <laughs> Don't show any pain. Peter up and in. That's a strike. One and one. Ooh. Out in front of the curveball at the knees. One and two. Heater inside, chop foul, way to keep it on, one, two. Heater up and away, chop through the middle, it's a base hit for Blacksmith, and that's going to bring home Flores, RBI knock for the second baseman, three, nothing, thumpers. Yeah, now you're feeling the pain, now that the adrenaline's wear off, Oof, yeah. Ooh, well, hopefully you get better soon, buddy. The fiddle Ramon Whitehead up, he's tense, one of the few batters not performing well this season. Hitting 289 with a homer and two RBIs is last year's uh, Triple Crown winner. Not living up to the hype he generated last season. Heater at the knees. Good pitch from Fitzpatrick to get ahead. 0-1. Oh, about the knees. Pop him up. Back into the screen. Thankfully, the catcher does not make the catch. 0-2. Oh, okay, collector active. And he whiffs through a fastball down the middle. 0-1. Oh, uh, first punch out for Fitzpatrick. One down. Pitcher Bet Coleman up next, hitting 333 here on the air. Infield playing the bunt. Bunt is shown by Coleman. It is dropped down for a fair ball. De Orange to first. Two down as the runner gets the second on the sacrifice. Literally just like <laughs> drinking chocolate milk. Hey, it's the drink of champions right there. <laughs> Bob Shelton up 0 for 1. Let's go, Bobby. Flew out his first time up. Heater on the first one. Misses low and in. Ball one. Good eye there. Curveball hangs, turned on by Shelton to right field, but he got it off the end of the bat. That's going to hang up for Villalobos, and that's going to end the inning. But another run in on the single by Blacksmith, 3 0 to the third. The Orange, Ramos, and Fitzpatrick. It's the bottom of the lineup here for the False Knights. Warden to Orange, the uh, young catcher. He's on fire. Outside pitch active, hitting 286 with a homer and five RBIs here in his first season. I believe he's a rookie as well. Heater up and down the first one from Coleman. Is it called strike? 0 1. Curveball down and in. That misses off the plate inside. 1 and 1. Flatter up and in. There it is, right in there. 1 and 2. Change it from inside. Checked. Ooh, almost got him to chase. 2 2. Heater up and in. Popped him up behind short. Rogers out for it. Puts it away. 1 down. Don't be shocked if you fall Hey, it's all right, man. At least you tuned in for a little bit. Love hearing from you. Second baseman Xander Ramos up next, one of the new additions, hitting 268. Five RBIs in the air. He made a nice defensive play in the field earlier, so he's back to neutral mojo. Started the game tense. Curveball down and in on the first one. That's a strike call. Though one nice pitch from Coleman. Peter down in the way. Outside. One on one. Change of away. That's popped up off the end of the bat. Coleman there. Two down. Fitzpatrick up next to pitcher. Tense right now. Hitting 333 though on the air. Nobody on. Uh, two outs. Peter middle of the way in the first one. Chopped through the middle and that is the first hit of the day for the False Knights as Fitzpatrick swings one back up the middle. Coleman knocked down to neutral and Fitzpatrick gets back to neutral. Here comes Correa. He's over one today with a ground out to short. <laughs> yeah, it is something uh, most people do when they play baseball for the first time. Play it as if they're a commentator and just, you know, have fun with it, man. It's just nice. It's relaxing. Figured, you know, might as well just, you know, put that content out there. Bring back that nostalgia for people. I aim to do so. Curveball away. That is blooped down the right field line, and that is going to be a fair ball, and it gets under Coffee's glove. Shit. Get it in. That's uh, going to be a double for uh, Correa. Two in scoring position now. Two down. But hey, I'm glad I was entertaining enough for you to subscribe. Thank you. Appreciate it. Or follow, I should say. <laughs> Do I get much hate? No. No, I wouldn't say too often, no. A couple bot things here and there. I just ban them. But no, no, I don't think I've quite gotten a hate message, no. 
eh, you know. Which is surprising, but hey, I'll take it. I ain't going to complain. <laughs> Rally stopper act for Coleman here. She's going to try and get out of the jam here against Munster. Peter up and away in the first one. That's blasted to left field, and that is not coming back. Munster gets a big crack of that one, and it is long gone for the False Knights. Big bomb there from the block of cheese that's known as Womp. That is his second homer of the year, and we're all tied up at three. One big bomb is all it takes, and that's why Coleman probably won't be on the roster after this game. Let's be real here. You get some hate when you play it. Yeah, well, that's COD. That's just a community right there. It doesn't matter what play style you use with COD. Someone will always find a way to make, to hate on it. Doesn't matter what you do or who you try to please. Hartman up next. First pitch curveball here from Coleman. In there for a called strike at the knees as she is now tense. ERA balloons back over nine for her. Heater up and in is inside. One and one. Change down and in. Foul off, one and two. I also get some hate from there, but I don't record. I don't. I cannot stream COD just because I know sooner or later someone's going to say something racist, and I just I just can't have that on the channel. I ain't getting a strike for your uh, insensitivity. Liner to left of center, right of Flores, and that's going to end the inning. You got hate on in Farming Simulator? Oh, come on, guys. It's Farming Simulator. It's all the way down to farming now, seriously. You don't got to hate on someone's ability to farm. God. Rogers up. Rookies one for one with a single back in the first inning. He also scored a run on the homer. Heater inside. Misses from Fitzpatrick. Ball one. That heater. Ooh, just nipped the outside corner. Good pitch. One, one. Heater up and away. Rogers is late. Fouled it off, though. One, two. Peter inside, check, good hold, 2-2. Two, two. Slider away, chase, dribbled to second. Hard charge from Ramos. Bare hand in time to first, one down. Bingo Coffee up next, locked in. He flew out his first time up, 0 for 1 today. Or er, no, he lined out the shortstop, that's right. Curveball misses away on the first pitch, ball one. Curveball down and away, low. A little outside as well, 2-0. Work that pitch count. Slider up, line to short, one hopper, picked by Baloney. He'll make the play, two down. Now catcher, number 15, Shane Rose. You're a blank stop being such a blank. Ah, yep, that sounds about right. Oh, God. <sighs> Some people just need to have other people be miserable to be happy. I have no other way to say it. Shane Cruz up next. Captain hit a home run his first time up. He is one for one. He drove in our first two runs of the game. Curveball misses outside from Fitzpatrick. Ball one. Let's see if he makes the mistake of putting a fastball in the middle of the zone again. No, he put a slider there this time. That dumped the center. Cruz with his second hit of the day. He's two for two as he's on with a two-out single. Inning continues for Tambor. He grounded out his first time up to second. He got robbed by a diving play by the second baseman. He's 0 for 1. Off-speed hitter and ace exterminator active. Curveball down and in. Caught the knee. He's 0-1. Heater up and in, hard shot, grounder to first, but right at Munster holding the runner, and he'll take the out himself. Two hard hit balls from Tambor and two hard hit outs. To the fourth, we're still tied at three. Villalobos, Butts, and Baloney coming up. You've said some messed up stuff in life, but I try not to. Yeah, let's try not to do that. I will admit it too, I've said some messed up stuff too. But yeah, we don't need to go that far. There's no need to be unnecessarily mean. Sure, in the heat of the moment, you can say something stupid, but... As long as you don't really mean it and you make up for it and apologize, everything will be okay and it'll work itself out. The Lobos is up, flew out his first time up. Heater away is fouled off, though, one. Dribble down and in. That's ground of the second. Blacksmith over. She'll take it. On to first, one down. Nice pitch. Nice play. Nice play. Butts is up next. She's over one today. Popped out her first time up. Change away in the first one. That's middle of the zone. Line to right, but coffee there. Two down. Next up, Baloney. Rookie's over one today with a ground out. Slider up and away in the first one. Whiffed on it, 0-1. Got him out in front. Coleman finally back to neutral. Peter down and then jammed on the ground to first. Tambor on the backhand. We'll take it himself. 1-2-3 inning for the Thumpers. Bottom four. We're still tied at three. Flores, Blacksmith, and Whitehead coming up. 
Chris Flores led off with a triple his last at bat and scored on a single. He's one for one today and still locked in. Throw ball up and away. Ooh, nice pitch from Fitzpatrick. Just caught the top of the zone. No one. Slider down in the way. Line to right center. That's down for a base hit. Lead off knock for Flores. He's on to start the fourth. Only when they are being one. I mean, like, I'll call someone a dumbass. Yeah, I call people a dumbass all the time. Especially if they're being one. I would call them out for being stupid. <laughs> Especially if they're doing it as a detriment. <laughs> Blacksmith up, singled home a runner. First time up. She's one for one today. Heater in there at the knees. Nice pitch from Fitzpatrick. 0 1. Heater up and away. Checked high. 1 1. Double down and in. That's check low and inside. 2 1. Heater up and away. Chopped the second. Diving is Ramos to make the stab on the first. Gets the out on the fielder's choice. One down. Runner at first. <laughs> what? You want to go do karate in the garage or something? <laughs> oh, Step Brothers. Sod movie. Whitehead up. He's 0 for 1 today with the strikeout. Still tense. I love that movie. That's such a great movie. <laughs> oh, come on, Ramon. Curveball down low. Misses. Ball one. Good eye. Let's make a bug bed. Yeah. Mom, Dad, can we take or put our beds together and make a bunk bed? <laughs> oh, God. I love that movie. It's the Catalina Wine Spritzer. <laughs> So we have room to do so many different activities. <laughs> oh, God, I love that movie. Slider in there at the knees on the first one from Fitzpatrick. 0-1. Slider away, checked outside. 2-1. Come on, Ramon. Heater down in the way, blooped over second. That is down for a base hit. Blacksmith had to free, or not Blacksmith, who was that? Flores had to freeze. He'll move to third on the single. Runners at the corners. One down for Coleman. Clutch is active. Can the pitcher deliver? Mom, Dad, I think he's dead. <laughs> and that is going to do it for Fitzpatrick today as the stepbrothers finally knock him out of the game. Coming in is Amari Fletcher. Ace reliever. I expected nobody else to come in other than maybe Quintana. Fletcher on the year, 1-0. He has an 090 ERA and an 060 whip. Five appearances on the year and a one and run given up. Ten innings pitched. It's the most out of the bullpen besides Quintana, who's thrown ten and a third. Five hits given up, five strikeouts, a walk, a hit batsman, and a batting average against a 147. And the infield is playing double play depth. Maybe we can get a suicide squeeze here. Maybe. Bun is dropped down. The runner's coming home. It's a suicide squeeze, and it works. Coleman drops it down, and the run scores. 4-3, and the Thumpers reclaim the lead. Two down runner, a second for Shelton. He's over two. There's Pitch Slayer still active, but he does lose contact for his righty. When Real Farrell says, I'll never call him dad, even if there's a fire against <laughs> Oh, I forgot that was in that movie. That is such a great line, too. <laughs> oh, God, that's hilarious. Curveball misses low on the first one to Shelton. Ball one. Curveball up and in. Crushed the right center field, but that is going to hang up out there for Correa. And that's going to end the inning. But a suicide squeeze bump from Thumpers give them the lead as Coleman drops it down. 4-3 to the fifth. The Orange, Ramos, and Fletcher do up. This is where the rally started last time. The Orange leading off. Catcher's locked in with a 0 for 1 today, though. Peter down and in. That's Chop at the middle of the short. Rogers dives. Nice play, Maya. On to first in time. Nice play, rookie. One down. Yeah, I got to watch that movie again, too. <laughs> It's got such rewatchability, too. It's amazing. Xander Ramos up. Uh, second baseman's over one today with a ground out. How about down in the way? That's a strike at the knees. 0 1. Not that Holmes and Watson crap, though. Oh, my God. I mean, I know that they work together well, but that movie was just bad. Oh, God. Peter down and in. Grounded hard to third. Diving is Shelton to pick it out of the air. On the ground. On to first. Two down. Nice play, Bobby. Base is empty for Amari Fletcher, the pitcher. He's hit this on the air, and he will bat as they need him to eat a couple innings. Peter up and away. That's a strike. Go one. Slider up and in. That's a strike. It's 0-2. Come on down in the way. That's lined at the ground. at the middle base hit as Fletcher once again gets a two-out knock from the pitcher slot. His first hit of the year. Once again, it's a different pitcher getting on. Center fielder, number 
Cray up, one for two of the double. Hey, one boy, welcome in, buddy. Welcome in. Nice to see you. Hope your day's been well. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We dropped the first bomb. We went up 2-0. Then we got another run in, and then we gave up a three-run homer. But we did just drop down a suicide squeeze bunt to retake the lead. So back and forth, and it's uh, we're matching each other wit for wit. Curveball down and into Correa on the first one. Fouled back, 0-1. Either way, that's fouled off, 0-2. Slider for in. High, 1-2, and two. good eye. 1 2 pitch, change up and away. Fouled off, 1 and 2. Hell, nobody said we had to get our runs nicely. That's true. Peter down and in. That's low, 2 and 2. Slider away. That's outside, full count. Runner goes, full count. It's in the dirt. Ball four. First walk from Coleman. And that is going to bring up Walt Munster, who hit the three run bomb last time up to tie the game at three. Choker activated here for the first baseman. Rally stopper and clutch activate for Coleman in response. Let's see who comes out on top today. Slider at the knees. That's a strike call at the knees. There you go. 0 1. Peter down. That's low. 1 1. What grade is this pitcher? C. Plus. Coleman's C. Plus. She's our number four. Change it down and in. That's a strike. One and two. Yep, C plus. Got it right. Yeah, her traits really bring her up. She should only be a C, probably. Well, down in the way. Strike three called. Can I help you, Munster? No, you can just look and get the hell out of here. Struck him out looking. First punch out for Coleman. That's strands two. We keep the lead. Halfway home. Bottom five. It's back and forth. 4 3. Rogers, Coffee, and Cruz coming up. Rally stopper and clutch do work. Although not rally stopper by itself. You're still prone to giving up home runs. My Rogers up. Rookie one for two with a single today. I uh, believe she grounded out last time up. Mason Fletcher with reverse splits active for the first time today. Heater down in the way. That's a strike. 0 1. Crumble down. Rip foul out of play. 0 2. Very nasty. Why do you think I meet, I meet Rob McBride? Very true. <laughs> They recorded the game, and when I get hit, you can hear me yell, Son of a setter. <laughs> oh, God, yep. Hey, I don't blame you. I would, do, I would do that, too, if I got plunked by 90. Slider line to short, one down. Coffee up, over two. Oh, that's nothing. We were recording the game, and this was, this was uh, many years ago, so uh, I'm not going to date myself here, but you know, I wasn't playing. My brother was playing. It was his team playing. They were in the championship game, and they were recording it. And he was... um. He's playing third base. I remember this. And it was last inning. It was, uh, I believe, two outs in the, I think we were with Little League, so this is seven innings. So it's the bottom, top of the seventh. They are tie. It's a tie game, and they need to get out of the inning in order to get to the bottom half to try and win. <laughs> so my brother's at third, and there's a, a fly ball situation to right field. One down, runner's tagging at second base. The guy makes the catch. He throws into third. My brother catches the ball, and he throws the tag down real quick, and the umpire calls him safe. And my brother absolutely flips his shit. <laughs> and he just starts cussing out the umpire. He got tossed within three seconds. Mind you, this is a this is a 12-year-old kid. He just flipped off and started cussing out the umpire with every word he knew. <laughs> my brother has anger issues. I can't blame him. He's a ginger. Anyway, not the point. <laughs> Uh, he's not really a ginger. He's mostly he's uh, he's red. He has reddish brown hair, but I call him a ginger just to piss him off. <laughs> but yes, he got thrown out real quick, and uh, they ended up coming back and winning the game in the bottom of half of the seventh. But it was just funny watching my brother get thrown out. And he's, and I look over at my parents. He's like, and he's the one that you put all your hopes and dreams in. Come on, guys. <laughs> Slider taking a load of coffee on the first one. Ball one. He has no soul. That is true. <laughs> I, I drop that line on him all the time, too. <laughs> Heater up and in. That's a strike. One and one. Curveball away. Pulled on the ground. The first Munster will take it himself for the second out of the inning. 
base is empty for Cruz, who had a home run back in the first. He's also singled. He's two for two. Oh, if I really want to piss him off, I'll just look at him and go, Why are you mad, son? Why are you mad? And he's going to get pissed real quick. <laughs> oh, God. Love you, Eric, if you're watching this. I know you're not. <laughs> Here, inside, that's a strike. Oh, one. Peter up. Ooh, big whiff. Oh, two. Whiffer activates for Cruz here. Peter up and away. Ground of the first. Munster's going to take it himself. Busy any for him, and he'll flip to Fletcher in time. It's a 1 2 3 inning. To the sixth. It's 4 3. Hartman, Villalobos, and Butts do up. <laughs> uh, top half of the sixth we go. It's the heart of the lineup here for the False Knights. Hartman, Villalobos, and Butts coming up against Coleman. Hartman 0 for 2 today. Throw a ball away, line to first. Tambor leaps, makes the nice catch, one down. What makes that story even better is, um, uh, we I know that umpire's name's uh, Kip. Uh, he actually became really good friends with my brother and uh, his the team that my brother played for. He ended up being like one of the umpires they would have every year, and they got to know each other real well. They actually came to an understanding many years later. Although he still says every time he comes up, you're not going to lose your shit now today, are you, son? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. I'll, you can't upstage the umpire. You go for the eyesight. It's automatic game over. You're out of here. Still, I appreciate the commitment to the bit calling and blind to get some glasses. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I've personally never been thrown out. No, I, I, was, I was a straight arrow kind of guy. Good ball down and then misses low. Ball one. Peter away. Chopper to short. That's a slow roller. Rogers charges. Bare hands and fires. One, two, three inning for Coleman. She gets through the six. Nice pitching a bet. Bottom six, that's 4-3. Tambor, Flores, and Blacksmith do up. Tambor leading off. He's 0 for 2 today. He's grounded out twice today. He's hit two hard ground balls to the right side of the infield. He's been robbed by a diving play at second and then picked by a nice hop at first. He just can't catch a break right now. <laughs> Slider down and then taken low. Ball one. Peter White line down the left field line, but a little late from Tambor. 1-1. One, one. Slider up and in. That's high and tight. 2-1. Good eye. Good eye. That's high. 3-1. Come on, Kane. Peter up. Ooh, whiffed on it. Full count. Good whiff. Curveball away. Ball four. First walk for Fletcher. Way to go, Kane. Uncle took me on that day and said, I'm proud of you for being like a great old uncle. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Floor is up two for two, triple and a single. At least someone was happy with you about it. <laughs> uh, curveball taken low, ball one, good eye. Fletcher starting to tire out there. Heater up, checked high, one and one. Slider down on the way, pop him up. Left center, easy sky ball. Hartman over, he'll put it away, one down. <laughs> Next up, second baseman, Aresti Blacksmith. One for two with an RBI single. Fielder's choice ground out for her last time up. Astros rookie just threw it up. Nice. Congratulations. Ah, how awesome. Which one was it? Damn, a no-hitter already? Gee, oh, Blanco. Okay, gotcha. Nice. Good for him. That's, oh, and against the Jays. They have a decent offense this year. Not bad. Congratulations. Look at that. Astros rookie throws a no-hitter. The Orioles walk it off on the Royals. Not as impressive, but I'll take it. And it's his first career start. He has high expectations now. <laughs> Let's go, Blacksmith. Curveball up. That's a strike of the letters. 0-1. Yeah, he does. As long as he doesn't become an alcoholic and have to check himself in the rehab midseason, you'll be okay. <laughs> oh, it's only your first win. Oh, God. Slow start for you guys. Curveball down in the way. That is popped down the left field line. That's sinking quickly. Hartman on the run. We'll get there for the second out. Good range. Ah, Cardinals not doing anything. I'm sorry. Well, Nate, it's still early. You guys can come back. <laughs> White head up. One for two with a single. Intense. First split still act for Fletcher here. 
Broken bat popped him up to second there for it is the shortstop Baloney as Ramos overran it for some reason and just kept going. <laughs> to the seventh, it's four to three. Baloney to Orange and Ramos coming up. Coleman only had 56 pitches. You got one more inning in you, bet. Go get him. I know you're due up next inning, so I'll drop you then. That series with the Yankees almost turned me into an alcoholic, not going to lie. I, I, I would not be surprised. Wait, alcoholic? You're only 17. You're not even old enough to drink yet. Jesus, that's really bad. Eighteen and a te all right, fair enough. Eighteen and the Texans fair, but still, <laughs> that's when you know it's bad. <laughs> Either down and then called strike here on the first one to Coleman. Come on down in the way. That's low. One on one. The cops show up. <laughs> For the record, I do not endorse underage drinking. Let's not go that far. They did a real-life impression of the Freebooters. Oh, they choked everything away. <laughs> Slider up and away, fouled off, one and two. Or did they just get blown out every game? Change of middle in. That's line hard to short. One hopper for Rogers. She'll make the play. One down. All four games went up by three, five runs, and then choked it away. Typical Freebooters fashion. <laughs> Penn blows it, of course. Warden to Orange up next catcher as outside pitch active. He's still locked in. Like, come on, guys. I don't ask for much. Third ball down and in. Inside. Ball one. At least your shortstop didn't age up a couple years and lose all his effectiveness. Pena's still young. Heater up and in. Blew it by him. 1-1. One, one. Slider down and in. Grounded up the middle of the short. Diving Rogers. Nice play. Maya on the first. Got him. Two down. Hey, Wild Dog, baseball. welcome in, buddy. Number Speak 92, of him. I was like, I need a beer. <laughs> uh, hopefully your day's been well. Sorry to hear about the Rockies the other day when the, the backs dropped 14 on you. I do, I do sympathize with that. Oh, dear. I can't believe they did that in one inning. <laughs> Trouble down in the way. That is a strike. Oh, one. They did just no hit the Jays. One boy was telling us. <laughs> Blanco's first career start too yeah it's going to be a long year I can tell for you guys Peter down and then that's jammed to center right at Flores that's going to be the third out and Coleman has a 1, 2, 3, seventh inning I bet Coleman threw 7 nice pitching Coleman you're done bottom 7 Coleman due up then Shelton and Rogers we're definitely pinch hitting here in a 1-1 game oh that's right Nolan Arenado did go to the cards I forgot about that <laughs> There's Coleman, a sack, uh, sack bunt run driven in on the suicide squeeze last time up. She's also sack bunted as well. So no at bat today. She'll finish the day locked in, going seven innings, giving up only four hits today. One of them a three-run homer. She walked one batter and struck out a batter. Nice pitching, Coleman. Shame you're probably not going to be in the roster regardless. Really? I wanted to pinch hit, you bastard. That's a strike, 0-1. Oh, uh, who are we going to bring in to pinch hit here? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm feeling Arnold Lou. Let's go. No, actually, you know what? Uh, we'll save McIntosh. I'll need her for later. Kirk is tense. He's out. We're going to go to the new guy. We're going to go to the backup third baseman, Marlon Walls, the rookie. Marlon First career Walls. at bat. Let's go, Marlon. <laughs> Austin Gomber sucks. Oh, God. Got to put the Jack Daniels away. <laughs> Come on, Walls. Grab out the knees. Sky ball to left of center. That's going to be an easy first out as Correa's there. He sucks. Very straightforward. <laughs> Bob Shelton up next. 0 for 3 today with three flyouts. Still locked in, though. Peter middle in line to the gap right center field. There you go, Bobby. That's going to the gap. That's going to be extra bases for the third baseman. Correa gets it in. It's a one out double. Traded away Sandy and Gallon for Ozuna. You see how that went. <laughs> Added up. <laughs> Rogers up next. Come on, Maya. One for three today. Curve ball up. That's a strike at the letters. Nice pitch. 0 1. Heater down. Hitting the hole to second. Diving is Ramos under his glove. It's into right field. Coming around third is Shelton. He's going to try and score. Throw is late. That's an RBI knock for Rogers. There's the insurance run. It's 5 to 3. Oh, Garcia. <laughs> 
Austin Pyle. Oh, God, not Austin Pyle. Gomber Pyle. Oh, Gomber Pyle. Got it, got it. There you go. Ooh, nice shout-out to the uh, Andy Griffith Show. I like that. And also Gomer Pyle from Full Metal Jacket. Or is that Barney Pyle? And Gomer Pyle, the U uh, U.S. Army. One-run game in wiffle ball? Nice. Good job. Fletcher coming out after that run scores. Here comes Ramon Avila, the right-hander. Avila on the year, 0-1 at 4.15 ERA and a 2.08 whip. Three runs given up, two earned in four appearances. Four and a third innings out of the pen. Eight hits, a walk, 364 batting average against. Uh, no strikeouts or home runs yet. Yeah, that bridge. Yeah, that was that was tough. It just one you went to bed, it was there, and then you wake up and it's gone. Like they had almost no time to get people off that bridge. They did a really good job though of uh, stopping the flow of traffic before it got worse. Shame about the construction workers though. I don't think we're ever gonna find them. Three inside the park home runs and a swinging bunt. Oh my! <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, good, good thing. Go. Good job at the plate there and in the game, one boy, all around. <laughs> yeah, I think they had what after that bridge. The boat hit the bridge. They had what maybe ten seconds, if that. They're lucky it wasn't as bad as it as it was. Come on, coffee. Let's see what you can do. Peter up and away. That's a strike. Go one. Call me Otani, he ain't got crap on me. Good day to the next wife with good money. <laughs> it down line to center field and coffee's gonna have a base hit. That rally continues, two on, one down. Here comes Shane Cruz, captain two for three with a two-run homer and a single. Grounded out last time up. Oh, it was a church game? Ah. Uh, he's not in league ball yet. Avila has gets a head on. First pitch change up, misses outside. Ball one. Slider away, hits the corner. Nice pitch, one and one. Mind gamer active for Cruz here. Cutter inside. Ooh, out in front of it. One, two. Whiffer activates. Change of away. Chopped to first. Munster to second one. Baloney to the pitcher. In time. And that's a double play to end the inning. But when I'm winning 15 to one, keep it clean. <laughs> All righty. Uh, Walls is coming out. We're not going to sub him on here. We're going to go ahead and go to the bench. And actually, we're actually going to do a double switch here. Uh, we're going to go here. We're up two runs. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sub. Uh, we're going to sub Cruz off here, and then we're going to put McIntosh in. So uh, We're going to the bullpen. We are going to bring in. Let's bring in the sound to instigate to see if he's gotten any better this year. We're going to go ahead and take Cruz out. And pinch hitting for Avila here to start the inning is regular first baseman Trevor Hendricks as he'll take over. And coming in to play catcher, we are going to bring in Jolie McIntosh, the rookie. Sound instigate the left-hander out of the bullpen. 28-year-old needs to earn his roster spot right here, right now, or he's gone. No record, a 982 ERA and a 355 whip. Four earned runs given up in four appearances, three and two-thirds innings pitched. 12 hits surrendered, uh, two strikeouts, a walk, a hit batsman, and a batting average against a 545. Hey, Ball Baseball Dad. Welcome in, buddy. Nice to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. Hopefully your day's been well. <laughs> Practice better commentary. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Come on, sound. Beat it down. And then that's fouled back. 0-1. Little hack activates here for Hendricks. Throw ball away. Chase blooped up the middle of the second. Blacksmith dies. Makes the stop behind the bag. Fires the first. Got him. Nice play. Way to go, Blacksmith, one down. Number Commentating three. second to none. Appreciate Korea. it, thank you. <laughs> Musty Correa of next one for two with a double and a walk. Special stack for Instigate as that heater hits outside and high off the zone. Ball one. Change up at the knees. That is in there for a strike. One and one. Nice pitch, nice pitch. Dribble down in the way. That's fouled off. One and two. Just a bit outside. He'd rip it in. Ooh, almost hit him in the elbow, but just missed. 2-2. Two -two. Would have been looking like Peyton earlier. Change of down and in. That's chopped under the glove into Sallow Center. That's going to be a base hit. That is a seeing eye knock here for the lefty as Correa is on with good speed. Here comes Munster. Specialist and Choker both working against Munster here. He has, however, hit a three-run homer today. 
Hey, Shaneva, welcome in, buddy. Nice to see you. <laughs> Hopefully your day's been going well as well. Inski trying to get it, get through the inning here. Curveball away. That's in there for a strike. Go one. Sydney Sweeney can shove it down the stairs. Oh dear Christ. <laughs> oh no. Eater down and then that's inside. One one. Change up away. Check low. Two one. Good eye. Eater up and away. Munster popped him up. McIntosh out of the crouch. He's there for the second out of the inning. Coming up next is Red Hartman, the utility player. 0 for 3 today. Average is down to 100. Going to need a big hit from him here. Change up down in the way in the first one. Just off the corner. Ball one. Peter up and in. Popped him up. He had fastball hitter. He went after it, but he got under it. Flores to right center. Coffee calls him off to put it away to end the inning. Yeah, well. All right, Hendricks coming out. Here comes the closer, Pablo Shaws. He's going to take over. Bottom eight, it's 5-3. Tambor, Flores, and Blacksmith throw up. Actually, I think it's pronounced Shaw. <laughs> Kane Tambor leading off 0 for 2 with a walk today. Off-speed hitter, still active for the first baseman. And here's the closer, Pablo Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for one, oh, and one on the year with a 7.36 ERA and a 1.91 WHIP. Four appearances, three earned runs given up, three and two thirds innings, five hits, two walks, two homers, two strikeouts, and a batting edge against a 3.57. Elite changeup active for Shaw here. Only a fa fastball and a changeup. There is the changeup. Misses inside. Ball one. Changeup up. Ooh, out in front of a tambor. Slow down. One one. Change away. Sky ball the left center. That's going to hang up though. Running over is going to be Hartman for the first out. Next up, Flores, two for three day. Triple and a single on the cards. He's locked in. Come on, Chris. Change it down the way. Turned on by Flores. Deep to left field. Hit pretty well. Running out of room is Hartman. He plays it off the wall, and he misses the ricochet. Flores is going to hang at second with a double. He is now a home run shy of the cycle. Third hit today for Flores. And here's Blacksmith, one through with an RBI knock earlier in the game. Looking for another one. She's locked in. Come on, Aresti. Peter down in the way, check low, ball one. Peter down in the way, blooper to second, one hopper. Runner has the hold as Ramos takes the out at first, two down. Puts all the pressure on the tense Whitehead, who's one for three with a single with Volatile. Come on, Ramon. One big swing, that's all we need. Change the waist, strike call, though one. Good pitch. Peter away late on the swing outside. 0 2. Change of checked inside. Good hold. 1 2. Peter up his chase. Grounded the first. Munster there. Takes it to himself, and that ends the inning. To the ninth. It's still 5 to 3. A two run game. Villalobos, Butts, and Baloney coming up. There's Villalobos. So for 3 today. Instigate going to stay in to start the inning as we're going to sub off Whitehead. We're going to bring in rookie Arnold Lou. He's going to play left field. Actually, Coffee's going to play left field. We're going to have Lou play right field. That's the only change we're making. We're going to stick with the rest of the defenders here. Instigate going to go for the two-inning save. Peter down in the way. That's a strike at the knees. 0-1. We do have Sosa warming up behind him. Draw down and in. That's fouled off. 0 2. Via Lobos behind. Change it down in the way. Low. 1 and 2. Peter up and in. Chased it. Strike 3. First punch out for Instigate. One down. Here's Butts. 10. So for 3. Peter up and away in the first one. Check strike. 0 1. Bless you, Instigate. Change it down in the way. Outside, one and one. Curble down, taking low, two one. Peter up and in. Jammed it the right field. There is the newly inserted Lou. Arnold will put it away for the second out. Last chance for the False Knights is Edward Baloney, the rookie shortstop. He's 0 for 3. Curveball down, misses low, ball one. Peter down and in. Off the plate, 2 0. Change up. That's high, 3 0. Instigate not finding the zone here. Peter up and away. Strike called, 3 1. He was taking all the way. Trouble down and away. Ball four. And that is Instigate's first walk. 
The game will continue for Warden to Orange, the young catcher. He's locked in 0 for 3. Outside pitch active here. Instigate starting the tire. This is his last batter. Change up and in on the first one. Taken high. Ball one. Got to hit your spots. Sound hits your spots. Peter down and in. Fouled off. Jammed it. Out of play. One and one. Her ball inside. Lined over short. Leaping as Rogers out of her reach. It's a base hit. Tying runs are going to be on base for the False Knights. Go ahead, run, coming to the plate. It's the eight hitter, second baseman Xander Ramos, who is tense. 0 for 3 today. Instigate done on the. I, though I know a lefty is coming up, but no. Sorry if you don't give me a vote of confidence. Sound, we're going to the bullpen. Going to Sky Sosa, the ever reliable. Sosa, no record, an 079 ERA and a 106 whip. One earned run, giving up two total. Five appearances, 11 and third innings pitched is the most out of the pen. Nine hits surrendered, three walks, a homer, eight strikeouts, and batting average against the 214. Going for her first save of the year, trying to get the last out. Come on, Sky. First pitch curveball at the knees. Ramos grounds it hard to first. Tambor dives, knocks it down off his glove in foul territory. Flip the first. Got him by a step way to recover Kane. All it takes is one pitch from Sosa, and the Thumpers hold on to win. 5-3, the final score, as we do beat the False Knights. Yeah, whoo, indeed. I was waiting for it. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> thank God Ramos can't fucking run. 5-3, <laughs> the final today, as uh, False Knights got all their runs on a home run there in the third inning. We at least spaced ours out a little bit. <laughs> but it was not a day for offenses. Only three runs for the False Knights, all on the home run by Womp Munster. They only had six total hits. On the other side for us, two-run homer for Shane Cruz got the scoring started. Blacksmith chipped in an RBI single. Coleman had the go-ahead suicide squeeze bunt. And then Rogers had a chip-in RBI single after that to seal the deal in the eighth. Fitzpatrick will take the loss. Three and a third innings today. Seven hits, four and runs, a homer, a strikeout. He didn't pitch bad. He just didn't have the stamina. He falls to 0-1-1 because he's a long reliever. Fletcher, three innings in relief, giving up one earned run on two hits and a walk. Avila, two-thirds of an inning, giving up a hit. And Shaw, one inning, one hit, giving up. For us, Abet Coleman gets the quality start wins. Seven innings, four hits, three earned runs, a walk, a strikeout, a homer. She improves to 2-0. Cuts her ERA down by a couple points, but it is still up over seven. I don't think she is quality enough to be on the team. Instigate inning and two-thirds scoreless. This is actually his best outing of the season. Two hits given up, a walk and a strikeout, and then Sosa in third of an inning gets the save her first of the year, getting the ground out on one pitch. MLB made the no-hitter post, and there's so many posts, we are so back. <laughs> and then several others saying Yankees on our Astros still bad, just funny. Oh, God. Yikes. <laughs> Shane Cruz up, two-run homer. He is the player of the game, followed by Chris Flores with his uh, shy of the home run cycle day. And then Womp Monster with the big three-run homer is the third-place finisher, the only representative for the False Knights in the top three. Yeah, Astros, hey, that's all you guys need. Sometimes it's just one big performance that can turn a season around or get it back on track or get it started in this case. Alrighty, we are officially at the halfway mark of the season, 12 games in. And with that win, we are still in first place in the division. We are 8-4, and four, and we have a half-game lead on the, uh, who is it, the Bird Lizards. You need to choose one player to be the cover athlete for Champs Weekly. Who's it going to be? Okay, so Rodgers actually played today, whereas McIntosh didn't have an at-bat. But McIntosh needs the loyalty more, so let's give it to her. All right, looking around the league, any roster moves? Ooh, I see some no roster moves, so we could be the first one to draw blood here. Couple training opportunities, I like them. Okay. Sosa got stimulated. She's now a B plus. She finally started that New Year's resolution. I think we just found our official closer. <laughs> Ode to joy, especially when that's active. Mwah, chef's kiss. There you go, Sky. As if she wasn't already my favorite reliever, they just give me another reason. 
Five games to sim here real quick. Let's jump through them here. Bards taking on the Dive Bombers. Division rival matchup here, and the Bards win 6-5, to five, keeping pace with us. Bird Lizards then hold on to beat the Furry Flyers 5-1 to one as they match us at 8-4 atop the division. Trackers and Swampers here. Trackers win in the battle of division leaders. Bionics taking on the Toucans. Toucans finally get a win here this episode. They're 1-2 so far. Riddles and Blow Zeros. Blow Zeros win 7-1 to one as they blow out the Riddles, unfortunately. Oh, damn. Okay, not bad. All right, so next up is the Leather Wings, who are 6-5. and five. Don't know if I want to play that matchup. Who else we have coming up here? We have the Bionics with a losing record. The Tramplers, what are they doing this year? Tramplers right now are in a playoff spot. They're 7-4. and four. Might want to play them because they haven't had a winning record to this point in the series. I like that idea. And then the Swampers are after that as well. Maybe we make a double header, eh? Take uh, two cross-conference playoff teams. Mm -hmm. That looks like something I might have fun with. We'll also get to see who would be pitching those games. We would be seeing uh, Asiago and then whoever we replace Coleman with. And that's the beginning of the road trip as well. Ooh, okay. I like it. I like it. All right, but yeah, I, I just don't see the need to keep a bet Coleman on the roster. Yes, she pitched well today, but at the same time, she's severely underrated as a number four starter, as a C+. Plus. She has good traits, but her ERA is up over nine, and uh, or up over seven, and uh, that's not going to cut it as a starting pitcher here, especially through three starts. Granted, your two wins came when I was in control, but that one game I wasn't in control of you, you gave up uh, seven earned runs in that one start. And you only pitched, uh, what, maybe two innings? So, yeah, if I'm not in control of you, you're not going to do well. So I think we are going to cut our losses here and just let her go. What do you guys think? You think I'm making the right move, or do you think I should hang on to her? Let her go. Hmm, that's what I was thinking. All right, so we have Pale North. Who's, I mean, all right, I guess, but not, nothing special. Basically the same thing Coleman is without her traits. Uh, then we have Norbert Taverna, spirited. He's not great. Merle Cherry's not great either. Neither, he is choker. I'm not avoiding him like the plague. Rally stopper and crossed up here for Ridge Mesa. Okay. Coraline York, 20-year-old D-plus rookie. Gets ahead. Spirited trade. I like that. Don't think she's going to do well in the sim, though. I think we'd be in the same boat. But what we could do is we could go get Kenley Concentrato or Albert Heaves. Go down here and grab both one of them and move Celeste Pruitt, our long reliever, into the starting rotation. She would be a good number four, especially as a long reliever. And then that means that the playoffs, we just go a three-man pitching rotation. I'd be okay with that. Now, why was I looking at these guys in particular? So she's under Coleman. Uh, it's scholarly for scholarly, so we're not losing anything in that department. Gaining reverse splits, which is a great trait to have for on a reliever. Or we go to Heaves, who has K Collector and Elite Slider. Interesting. And he's even cheaper, so we would get a little bit more money back for move, making the move for him instead. Who's a better pitcher? Concentrado, 67, 42, and 36. 60, 52, and 31. So they both suck with accuracy. Heaves has the better stuff collectively. He has the better junk. Concentrado has better accuracy by 5, better velocity by 7. Heaves has better junk by 10. So they're about even. It's just what do you like more, K Collector or Reverse Splits? Both of them would be a Tier 2. Hmm. Hers would be righties against lefties. Hits would be just for all batters, and he's a right-hander. And he's younger. I think we go with Heaves here in this situation. I think he's the one we're going to get. So if we get rid of Coleman, we move Pruitt into the starting rotation, which I'm fine with. She's earned it. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Go ahead and get a little bit extra money here. So we're bringing Albert Heaves. He'll replace Coleman. I know she pitched well today, but that's what we're going with. 
because I really don't want to bring in York with her being a D plus. I just think that's bad news written all over it. And then Mesa, I just I'm not sold on him. I don't think he's good enough. Concentrado was the only other suitable one I was thinking about getting. Maybe I pick her up to replace Instigate, but at the same time, I don't think it's worth it at this current moment in time. So we'll sit with what we have for right now. That's the only. I think that's the only roster move we are making today. Unless there's like another young option who I'd be interested in. Uh, Coraline York, obviously. Gustavo Mess. He's basically Mar uh, Marlon Walls. I think I like Walls better. Ronald Appleseed. <laughs> no, I like uh, Eden Clippenstein. Nia Connor is still out here. I want to see if she gets picked up. Same with Sisley. I want to see who ends up going after him. Lax Hokey is still a free agent. Jesus, a lot of these guys. Bull resplendent. <laughs> Flutter Khan. Yeah, I'm not seeing anybody I want to bring in. Malcolm Craig is still a free agent, too. Jeez. I swear, if you brought under C, I was going to remind you of the busts of the Hugh Jacobs experiment. Yeah, let's not talk about the Hugh Jacobs experiment. <laughs> it brought under C. <laughs> yeah, I remember that experiment. That did not go too well, did it? Nash Hammond was the only other interesting one, I think. Anyway, okay, that's good. Player development, what do we got? Okay, no. Ooh, extra arm. He's the first baseman. It's kind of useless, but we have games to worry worry about this later. I like Kirks. Uh, I don't like that. Ooh, chance to get clutch, eh? Might not be as useful now on a starting pitcher, but A, I'll take the extra junk any way we get it. But we got two games, no rush. Blacksmith, still got a game on that. Uh, the only one we need to get right now is this one for Kirk. So let's grab that. One speed to the 63, one arm to 23. Going for the bonus three speed, not going to get it. Trying to improve his backup position to third base. Not going to get it either. But bonus three loyalty, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be simming this game against the Leatherwings here, and then we're also going to be simming this game. I think that's the only... Are we, is, that, is that the game we're simming? We're also simming that and the Bionics game. These two teams are not intriguing me enough to play against them. I want to play this next game with the rookie pitcher, Asiago. So let's go ahead and sim this game against the Leatherwings. It's going to be a dozen rolls, the two-way pitcher. He's also a catcher. And Gresham Harris, the aces dueling here. Let's see who comes out on top. Well, it's our ace and their number four, so let's see what happens. Come on, boys. Give me a win. Drop 2 nothing early. Now 4-1. to one. We rally back big, going A up 8-4. to four. Blow the lead in the ninth and drop it 12-9. to nine. Good job, guys. Way to go. Blew it at home. <sighs> Pulling the freebooters. Oh, instigate. Easy. I'm not decking Sosa. Come on. Coffee or Flores? Ooh. Coffee. Sorry, bingo. Oh, there are roster moves made. A two-can sign, Guillermo O'Reilly. A backup first baseman will replace utility player Julius Mitchell. That's the only roster move made here. Player development, what do we got? Uh, one more game on this. Ooh, RBI here for Coffee. That will make it up to him. We save. That automatically trumps everything else. Doesn't matter. That's the one we're going for. All right, Bard's taking on the Tramplers. They're looking to tie us here in the standings, and they will beat the Tramplers with ease. 11 to 5. Good win there. Bottomless Bluff, Gold Colts. Ooh, 13 to nothing. Jesus. Trackers beat the Champs 3 0. Furry Flyers taking on the Beasts. Beasts win 6 to 3. False Knights drop to the Bird Lizards as the Bird Lizards move a full game ahead of us here in the standings. Below Zero shut out the Nocturnals 5-0. Die Bombers drop the game, beat the Tramplers 3-2 as they move a game closer to us. Toucans get blown up by the Night Bats as they're having a bad year. Swampers beat the Bionics. There we go. Leatherwings blow out the Champs. Riddles drop a close one of the Bottlenoses. Swampers knock down the Gold Coats and Nocturnals beat the Beasts. Nice back and forth there. False Knights blow out the two cans nine to four, and then the Night Bats beat the Bards four to three. Okay, last game we're simming here against the Bionics. How is Instigate doing here? Oh, Benson cut his ERA down from fourteen to eight. That's nice. Instigate's still at a seven. So, did he pitch a game? I think he might have pitched another game. Inning in a third. Yeah, he pitched another game. Sosa's still doing well. Valenzuela, eh. Pruitt's moved into the rotation.
I think Pruitt pitched recently. Did she pitch? She did pitch. They used her in relief. Are you kidding me? Guys, she's a starter. What are you doing? Well, they've really just... They just really fucked us on that one, boys. They really fucked us on that one. Uh, great. She's not going to be rested for her start in time. All right, we'll match up against the Bionics here. They come in at 4-9. Jackson Gonzalez on the hill. 1-1 one one with a 4-61 ERA and a 132 whip. And for us, it's Sawyer Radical. 2-1, 3-63 ERA and a 162 whip. See how it goes. Nice pitcher's duel here, but we do hold on to win 6-2 as we beat a team we should. And they pitched Pruitt again. Stop pitching my long reliever. Are you kidding me? God. Thumpers win nine to. F uh, we're now nine and five on the year. Now a half game out of first. A couple more games to sim. Any roster moves to report? Valenzuela plus three speed. He's a pitcher. Flores plus four arm. Nice. Love it. No roster moves. Okay. Perfect. Blow zeros beat the dive bombers three to one. That's good for us. Bird lizards. We need you to lose here. They rally back and they win seven to five. Of course they do. So they keep their game lead on us. Trackers blow out the Riddles 8-1. Furry Flyers beat the Nocturnals 9-6. And the Bird Lizards shut out the Leatherwings 3-0 as they improve to a game and a half ahead of us now, heading into next episode. So next time out, we are playing a doubleheader. We are taking on the Tramplers here in the first game. First time we'll be seeing them here in the series. This is the first time they've actually had a winning record. And then afterwards, we are going to go ahead and play the next game as well against the Swampers. The first two games of this road trip as we try to see how Asiago's doing this year. And we're also going to see a new starting pitcher, Celeste Pruitt, who unfortunately has been used way too many times out of the bullpen. Because heaven forbid they actually have the right pitching rotation set up. Player development, anything to report. No, we're still saving up for this one for coffee. This is a good one. Ooh, that's a good one for Valenzuela, too. Elite Four Seamer would be nice, but this one still trumps it. RBI Hero is a must-try and get every time you, every chance you get. All right, so next episode. We're going to have Shelton lead off at third, Tambor at first, Blacksmith locked in at second, Cruz DHing, Crawfee in right, tense, Rogers at short, Whitehead in left, Flores in center, and McIntosh locked in behind the plate. Alrighty, but that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Big win today here in the first matchup. Uh, we simmed the first game against the bottom noses, hanging on to win 4-3. to three. We then played our game against the False Knights, winning 5-3, to three, behind seven quality innings from Coleman, who unfortunately was released after the game as we moved Celeste Pruitt into the rotation. But they have then proceeded to use her in the next two games as a reliever. So, yay. My starter is not rested for her start in next episode. That's going to be fun. But yeah, then afterwards we do drop the next game against the Leather Wings 12-9 as we blew the game late. And then we proceeded to hold on to beat the Bionics 6-2 the game afterwards. So we do go 3-1 and one in this episode, still keeping a winning record as we are now 9-5. and five, But we have dropped the division lead as the Bird Lizards are on a heater right now. They are a game and a half ahead of us at, I believe, 11-4. and four. So we're trying to catch up to them. Tune in next time to see if we can do so or if they're going to keep pulling away. Uh, but that is going to do it, guys. We made it this deep. Uh, thank you so much for sticking around. I appreciate the support as always. If you haven't already, hit the follow and or subscribe buttons down below here on Twitch to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already, over on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Link to Twitch will be down in the description below if you guys want to come over and watch the games live before they're posted. And to also follow me over on this platform as well if you so choose. Quick shout outs to One Boy, Wild Dog, Peyton, Shenable. And Bald Baseball Dad for all chiming in and talking during the stream. Love hearing from you guys as always, and hopefully you all have a wonderful evening as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate the support. That'll do it for me tonight, guys. Until next time, this is The Nasty One signing off. Have a wonderful day, evening, or afternoon, wherever you guys may be.